in the lightweight division at the Ultimate Fighter Season 31. Representing Team McGregor, you got lightweight number three, Aaron McKenzie, taking on lightweight number two for Team Chandler, Austin Hubbard. Now, Hubbard is one inch shorter at 5'10". So, let's hold off on McKenzie for just a moment. What we know about Hubbard is he's got a 71-inch reach. He fights right-handed. He lands... And this is just in the UFC, 3.7 significant strikes per minute. That's like right at about average, maybe a little lower. Um, he also lands about 1.4 takedowns over the course of three rounds, which equates to about a takedown every other round, 63% takedown defense. Now, he finished 3-4 and four in the UFC, losing to the likes of Vince Pichel and Joe Selecki on the upper end. He did beat the likes of uh, Dakota Bush, Max Roscoff, and Kyle Propolek. Uh, during his UFC stint, but three and four is not bad, you know, going into the UFC and, and doing all right, but enough losses, uh, has him out of the UFC and in the ultimate fighter, but certainly a worthy fighter. Now McKenzie is 11 and two. He's got four KOs, four submissions, three decisions. What I like about that is he can win, uh, any which way. And what makes him a possibility for team McGregor to get their first win is that he's won four in a row, all that LFA. His last loss was back in February of 2020 uh, to Christopher Gonzalez, and that was by split decision. So he could very easily, if you keep going back, could have won eight straight fights and unbeaten in the last nine if he didn't lose that split decision. So this guy's getting better. He's a worthy opponent. But can he go in there and beat Austin Hubbard? I'm going to say no. Until I see it, Team, Team McGregor's got to prove themselves here because they got all the prospects and – this is a big difference at this, at this level. Even guys that went into the UFC and worked their way out. I mean, Hubbard was three and four, so it wasn't bad. And in the lightweight division, that's not easy, right? The best division, toughest division, deepest division in the UFC. So I'm expecting Hubbard to be really good. I'm expecting Aaron McKenzie to fight better than the last two fighters and get through into at least the second round, maybe the third. But at the end of the day, even if it goes to a decision after two, and even if there's a third a fourth, third round, Austin Hubbard will find a way to win just because of the experience. So I expect Austin Hubbard to come through here uh, for Team Chandler to make it three in a row. They'll beat three and oh, three guys in the semifinals. This fight goes down, lightweight division at the Ultimate Fighter, season 31.